you can stand on here. No. Okay, this thing was out of that on the outside. And this used to go crash it up when I did that. And it's a big chain, and I used to just throw it through there, a big shackle, and shackle it up. <laughs> and, and you sat on here, and the chips going. At 16 years old, I must have been a nutter. Yeah. Well, that's why they get you at 16. You ain't going to do it when you're older. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was on the eagle. I did my first trip on a nine-year-old. Nine? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine. father was a troll skipper. Oh, right, so he took you as a pleasure trip. Pleasure trip. <laughs> 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 yeah. I was when I fished. I was fished for 18 years. I was sick the first day out of the dock. Mm. 24 hours, it could be as flat as this dock, and I was yeah. still battling. Yeah. Was mm -hmm. you? Yeah, know, it passed. Yeah, it does, it? Get, get, get over it, didn't you? Yeah, went through it. I yeah. was saying, I don't feel yeah. sick, I want to go lay down. Yeah, I think it's... Even it out and carry on working. <laughs> yeah? Right, my name's John, and I'm the trawler guy around the Central Grimsby Trawler. Anything you want to know about the ship, what it did, where it went, please ask. My job is to try and explain how we used to use all this gear and what we did. Yeah? So what do you want to know? Everything? Nothing? Where did it go? We used to fish the Faroe Islands and Iceland and the, and the north of Scotland. <laughs> she was a middle mm -hmm. deep water side winding troll. Yeah? Yes? I think I've got a There's scuppers, right? Those, that one there and that one there is known as a scupper. That one, which was bigger, was known as the duck pong. <laughs> right? And they never used to have bars across, so the duck pong was the most dangerous. If you got washed off your feet, there was, there was a chance you could get washed out the side of the troll. But there to let the water out that comes aboard. And sometimes she used to get level across the big seas. So you got to have holes for the water to run away from. Didn't you just have dogs there? <coughs> I did, just scuba dogs. Yeah. You fill them up. When you yeah. finish gutting, you fill yeah. your dogs up and yeah. slow your guts Yeah, all the, the good fish are down. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Yeah. Right, tells you on the front of the bridge where the trawler was built, when and by who. Cochrane's and Sons of Selby, 1957. <laughs> Cochrane's yeah. were responsible for 70% of the trawlers that sailed out of the port of Grimsby and Hull. In its heyday, Grimsby had over 700 ships sailing out of the port. Today, if you went down there, if you look, if you can find four boats. The one that you're on, the Ross Tiger, she was the first of 12 sister ships that were built for a subsidiary of the big Ross Group Frozen Food Company, Day One Trawlers. And all the 12 sisters were built to the same design. <coughs> and the design of this ship is known as a cat class design. Hence the name Tiger. The mm. way she got the name was by a local school in the town of Grimsby, Edward Primary Street. They were asked if they would name the 12 sisters after big cats. <laughs> well, that's hard enough for an adult to do without asking the kids. But the kids had a go, and that's why in our 12 cats we ended up with a horse and a dog. <laughs> right? <laughs> a dog. <laughs> yeah. In Grimsby, we've got the Ross Jackal and the Ross Zebra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which are cat class trawlers. Yeah. The cat that isn't a cat is the Ross Lion. She was 15 tons lighter than these ships, so she was never given the distinction of being known as a cat. She only lasted six years in Grimsby when we sold it to Newfoundland. Yeah? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. But the one that you're on, the Tiger, she's known as a Sidewinder. That means that all that gear goes over the starboard rail and comes back that way. But when she's actually fishing, she drags that net half a mile behind the trawler. And what allows her to do it is the big Robertson's electric winch that you can see across the front of the bridge. On each of those two drums, we carry things known as warps. You've got six thousand feet on either drum. Thousand fathom, six foot to the fathom, yeah? On the end of the warps, we fit bridles. When bridles came in pairs and in lengths of between 15 and 50 fathom, so you could swap your bridles around. Then there's the technical side of the game. We've got backstrops. Troll doors, Danlinos, butterfly legs, headlines, foot ropes, bobbins and cams, all attached to that net to keep it down, open and up on the seabed. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> Remember all that thing? Yeah. 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 Is it all coming back to you now? Yeah, I've tried it, I've it's what? A long time ago, yeah. <laughs> Come yeah. on with this side of the trawler. Yeah, 1969, that was enough of me, I think. Oh, we can smell the diesel. Like, this is where I used to work on the ship. What you see here is exactly the same down on the starboard quarter. Yeah? So you've got a four gallus, you've got a four door, troll door or otter board. 
These things weigh two ton, and they go down to the seabed. These are the keep the mouth of the trawl open on the seabed. So they run along what is known as the shoe, the big iron piece across the door. And as the trawl is towing the gear across the seabed, the pressure of the water against the front of the door, she can't pull it in. It can't go the other way because we've got the backstrop coming from around the back of the door. That's to stop the doors twisting out. So as the trawler picks up its towing speed, all your doors can do is they fly outwards. As they fly, they stretch the trawl that way. Yeah? Now you've got to get the top and the bottom separated, and that's done via the Danlino. This is the very, very end of the wings of the trawl. And the Danlino protects the butterfly arm. And this has got two functions. <coughs> the longest part of the arm, <coughs> excuse me, takes the headline of the trawl, the top. And to keep that off the seabed, we stitch aluminium cans all the way across the top, from the forewing through the square into the afterwing. The square is the back of the trawl. And then you've got to keep the belly down. And that's done by the smallest part of the arm, where we fit foot ropes, small rubber rings on wires. They run down the underside of the wings, and they're attached to six 16-inch steel bobbins in the forewing, the same as in the afterwing. And through the belly, you've got six 28-inch steel bobbins. Bobbins hold it down, cans keep it up, doors keep it open, and what goes through the middle ends up in the cut end. Questions? Fish. <laughs> yeah, you got it all. Yeah, he's oh, remembered easy, it. Yeah, yeah we can, we, it we, can we can picture it in our minds <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. There's no net drum to wind your net in. Six of us used to stand at the rail and pull it in by hand. Oh. Once you get the bag of fish to the side of the trawler, you put what is known as a becket around the belly of the trawler, uh, around the belly of the net, and then you put a hook into it. If, it, if it's a it's big bag of fish, the one that's holding that is the yeah. jiltson wire. Oh, right. The jiltson wire, if you had a, a, a lot of fish in there, you would fetch the gear aboard with a, what is known as the takele. Right? But your jiltson wire, first of all, is heated on the drum on the port side, and it'll drag the bag of, bag of fish down the outside of the trawler. Once it starts to come up, if it is too big, your takele is shoved into the becket and that takes over the lift. The Jiltson becomes second to the, to the takeoff. But we've only got a small bag, so we'll fetch it aboard with the Jiltson. It's swung in board. You've got deck boards in these stanchions. <coughs> the third hand goes underneath, undoes the knot, and drops the fish onto the deck. If everything's okay with the gear, the trawl, it's not damaged, everything back in the sea, start fishing, then you stand here and gut the fish. Mm -hmm. Gutted fish goes in the washer. That has a hose pipe pumping seawater into it. The trawler does the rest as it rolls and pitches about. The fish swirl round the washer, down the chute, drop into the fish room. And down there you've got the fish room, man, the mate, and, and the trimmer laying the fish out on the ice. Everything's done on the deck. You don't wear life jackets, you don't wear safety lines. There's enough stuff there to kill you without having something strapped round your neck. Yeah? And these things used to fish up to Storm Force 10. The only thing that stops this trawler fishing is Violent Storm 11 or Hurricane Force 12. If you're out though, you're out. You can't you just right. go in, can you? No, you're <laughs> away for three is. weeks. Can you not go in if it rains? What if it rains? <laughs> so you've not got much chance of... All you do is what, stop fishing and batten down then? Yeah. Go below. It's called dodging. Don't you? Mm. Stick, a, stick a bow to the, into the sea and just dodge slow ahead all the time. Yeah. But I've been in ships where it's been that bad that they can't come round off ice and they've to go stay you didn't turn around, she'd roll you over. Oh, oh God. God. Well, that one with the eye stuff as well, well wasn't been, it? I've been on both ends of the tow rope. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the once uh, Northern Eagle. Yeah. Uh, with the Icelandic skipper, Ergen Jensen. Yeah, Jürgensen. Yeah. 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 Um, we got the walk around the screw, and the Northern Reward towed us in, yeah. which was my first ship. Yeah. And then the other time on the Northern Eagle was with uh, Bunny Newton. Bunny the Beast. Yeah. The Beast. And, the beast. <laughs> and his brother Colin. Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> Colin did? No, no, it was Colin on the Conqueror. Yeah. He, he broke down and Bunny towed him in. He died not long ago, Colin. Did he? Yeah. Oh, he did, yeah, I saw that, yeah. yeah. Bunny, Bunny down there. Yeah, well, I, I, met, I met Bunny's. Yeah. But I met Steve. I met Steve a while ago. Yeah. The son, yeah. 
Yeah, but he got what he deserved, actually. Well, I, know, I know it's sad to feel your son to shoot you, but... <laughs> That's not good, is it? <laughs> one day, son, you'll <laughs> shoot me. <laughs> he would have got, got away with it if he'd only used one barrel, but he did. He went back and loaded it up and come and shot him again, and they showed he's dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got a picture of me and him, actually. Are you? Me and Dummy, yeah. Oh, no, the boat dead. Oh, yeah. Come on in. Yeah. It's getting up the rain in.